Hey guys, Netbook Hacker here. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to overclock the video card and the processor of your netbook. First of all, I just want to say that I'm not responsible for any damage done to your netbook. Do this at your own risk. Overclocking is dangerous and you can screw things up pretty badly. Alright, um, for this overclocking, we're going to need two programs. Clockgen and, um, GMA booster. GMA booster we're gonna use to uh, overclock the video card. The video card that's already in the netbook. Um, so both of those programs are gonna be in the sidebar. Just download GMA booster and clock in in the sidebar. Once you download it, just install. If you can't just download and install, then you shouldn't be overclocking your computer at all so um once you got that done the downloading and installing of the two programs first of all we're gonna cover the video card so um the video card the basically what we're gonna do to the video card is we're gonna um overclock it from 166 up to 400 megahertz so you can run um more more games like games that are kind of complicated to run or kind of heavy you, games that you couldn't run on the netbook you're gonna be able to like Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty um, games like that games any you're, you're gonna be able to run any game that um, takes less space or uses less uh, than 400 um, gigahertz or megahertz, I'm sorry. Alright, so uh, what we're gonna do to overclock the video card is um, we're gonna open GMA Booster and you wanna run it as administrator because we're running Windows 7 and it's just like Windows Vista, you should run it as administrator. So after you run as administrator, um, it's really simple. Um, uh, you can see right here where it says GMA core clock 166 megahertz we're just gonna select here you can clock it by 1.2 or 1.5 or 2.4 um, all you gotta do is um, select your clocking and click set you should see the that the status changed from ready to successful and the GMA core clock changed from 166 to 400 megahertz um this will use a lot more battery so um if you're running on battery make sure to plug your computer in actually it's not really good at all to run uh overclocking one year in battery because it shortens your battery life so only do this when you're plugged in and um what you want to do to downclock it is just make sure you come back here 166 megahertz and click set make sure it you see the change right here this is where the change happens uh... pretty basic program everybody should be able to run it and i guarantee you will see a difference when you're running any games or even a movie when you're running a movie and you got that um frap or fraps per second lag when it's like um the movie is like freezing up that should help a little um all right so that's how to overclock your original video card just make sure you select your video card when you go to download it all right now I'm gonna now we're gonna talk about how to overclock your processor. So what you wanna do is um you wanna open clock gen and also you wanna run it as an administrator. Uh you wanna put all the um, the windows here. So right, so this is how this works. This are my clocks, you see everything is pretty down right now and this is how you overclock it make sure you um um google your key gen that's what you should do and make sure you don't take it up too much 
I'm gonna take mine up to Google your IS or ICS. I'm gonna take mine up to mm, I think this is good. Yeah, this is good. All right, and all right, there it's done. So we overclocked the computer right now. Now we want to apply a little more. You want to apply a little more clocking. I want to go all the way up to. Um, not too much. A little less than this. Right, I want to apply, and I go and apply this, and apply selection. It takes a little, but it should work. Once you see the clocks go down, that means it worked. All the clocks here, they should go back to zero, and you'll sh you should see a, a increase of performance. All right, they went down, so now you see those clocks on the top went up. Now you got much higher AGP and PC. I right, so um, you should see a incredible performance improvement right now. Um. Just make sure not to overdo this. Make sure to always put back to normal. Just go back to not specified. And make sure to always shut down the... Whenever you close this, make sure to always shut down completely. If you don't want the computer to be running overclocked. Make sure to close it completely. Even um right here on the on the right side bar or whatever you call this alright um thank you for watching this video tutorial um i hope this helped you um this is just the beginning of a a series we're doing we're um, gonna do a lot of more modifying to our note netbooks um we're gonna make our netbooks as good as a notebook the netbook you saw me doing this today is a Samsung N130 that's my project netbook and um, we're gonna do from over we're gonna go from overclocking to uh, upgrading the RAM uh, upgrading the hard drive putting a much bigger hard drive uh, and um, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff I'm gonna show you guys how to um, use um, uh, a thumb drive or a flash drive as RAM for uh, bigger projects. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a lot of things. So uh, stay tuned on this channel. Subscribe if you guys like the video. So thank you for watching today. I hope you guys liked it. If anything, just leave me um, a comment in the section below. Please rate 5 star. And um, I will reply to your comments. Thank you.